I won more trades when I started using this trading concept. All right guys, so today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a concept that basically changed the game of my whole trading. So the concept I'm talking about today is institutional candles. It's also known as order blocks or an up close candle or a down close candle. And so today what I'm gonna show you guys is how I'm using that concept right now to catch trades. So I'm on the hourly time frame. I'm bullish on GPUSD, but ultimately I wanna see it drop first before rising. Technically I wanna see it drop down into this low or this action right here. This is is my down close candle this is how it looks like on a daily time frame you can see we have a blatant down close candle here the whole thing from the high to the very lowest point i want to see price drop down into this stop bearing in mind it's not done it yet but drop down into this before looking to go long so now when i go back down to the one hour time frame this is where we were you can see i have my down close candle high over here so let's just quickly go neaten it up a little bit so the high comes in right here and you can see that we've not touched it yet we just came shy of it now i'm going to go down to the lower time frame let's go down to the five minute time frame for now and i'm going to show you this now so this is a new week this is monday and so with that in mind i want to see it drop first before it rises that means i want to see price on monday drop i want to see it close bearish in fact it doesn't even have to close bearish it just needs to drop so what did i identify you guys know in my seven step trading strategy that i shared with you guys in my previous video you guys know i like to see price run liquidity first before dropping so here you can see this up close candle here it ran out the intraday highs and it also ran out some liquidity on friday not necessarily friday's high which is up here but just a high from friday so in saying that look we traded above this is still not an institutional candle yet until we trade beneath the very lowest point this candlestick here trades beneath the very lowest point so now price has done that i can be looking for some kind of entry when price returns back to the up close candle here so now my goal is for price to return back up into the up close candle and then catch an entry to then short it and by the way guys if you want to learn more about institutional candles i have a whole three-part series going into depth deeply explaining institutional candles so go ahead and check out that playlist to get that deep dive so let's go down to that one minute time frame you see how price runs out this liquidity down here these relative equal lows over here see how price runs out that liquidity down here they're going to be looking at this as some kind of support and resistance zone and now price has traded through that they're going to be looking for some kind of break and retest to then take price to the downside although their direction might be right it's just that they're going to be in a trade early this is not ready to drop yet this is just the initial push down lower and so if you was to jump in from here you would probably have after that breaking retest, you would either have a stop loss above this high or this one here. So roughly by a 13, 14 to 20 pip stop loss. And obviously to get down to these levels now, with that kind of stop loss, you're going to have the deadest kind of R. And then your stop loss is going to be roughly about these highs. If you're zealous, you might pull it above these levels. Ideally, look, 14 pip stop loss, you're going for these lows here. This is a one-to-one, -one, basically not even worth it kind of thing. That's dead. So what I'm going to do then, instead of jumping in early when price is already pushed, I'm going to wait for price to return back to the up close candle but specifically this imbalance right here so let's mark up the imbalance there we go so this is our, our inefficiency you can see there's only sell side offer to the market no buy side so i would want them to offer buy side to the market and then drop so my entry then is going to more so look like this so my position is going to come in from the very lowest point and i have my stop loss around these levels i had my stop loss around 63.5 so roughly about this level here i'm expecting price to only fill in the imbalance and drop and then i'm going to look to take my tp down to these levels right here my return is a one to five r trade so it's much more juicy than this one so let's go ahead and delete that one now so this is what i'm going to look to do so when price gets up into here i'm going to look to catch an entry and then take price to the downside let's go ahead and hit play price begins to drop again see once again this is their break and retest this is that confirmation for the break and retest folks i want to get in and drop it runs up straight past this level here now these folks who entered from this level here are in drawdown at the moment they're probably looking at some kind of support resistance level over here so now they're looking at this level and what they're going to think is if price breaks above this resistance level here probably going to look to jump in with buys but don't forget i'm selling at this point so when they're looking to jump in with buys i'm looking to sell so i'm going to be pairing up with their orders and taking it the other way so look what happens here so let's just hit play there we go look at that we get relative equal highs here so at this point i'm still not in the trade because price has just missed my entry by about a pipette or so but at the same time look you're not going to panic you're not going to stress 
if they come up this high you might as well wait for them to come from hit their imbalance and i've said this multiple times before in many of my videos whenever it comes to relative equal highs or relative equal lows they're always reaching for something if they produce relative equal highs like they've done in this scenario then i'm going to be looking for something above those relative equal highs that they can be reaching for for price to then turn around in this scenario it was the imbalance we should be pairing up with their orders up here and then price should drop after that See, look at that. Price pushes all the way to the downside. People are probably thinking, probably missed the trade. I'm still keeping to my bias, my entry criteria, and nothing has changed. There we go. I get tagged into the trade right here. Right in here, I get tagged into that trade. I'm in the trade now. My stop loss is in the right place. I'm not expecting price to run above. I've got my stop loss above 50% of this candlestick here. So I am Gucci. So let's, let's look at that. 50% of this candlestick here. Um, lines up here my stop list is above that so i'm gucci i'm not expecting anything higher all right guys so this is a clip that i recorded off my laptop this was me entering the trade you can see it is exactly the same as what we're talking about and here you can see me moving my tp to the relevant area i think i end up deleting that tp somehow but you can see here i put my tp to 1.2828 and um yeah like i said i end up deleting it yeah, my stop list is above that so i'm gucci i'm not expecting anything higher Did I get stopped out? No. And then price collapses to the downside. And then don't forget my target is these levels. Look at the speed at which they're going. There's no need to panic when you start seeing reversals like buy candles like this. There's no need to panic. All I'm seeing now is selling at this order block here. So when price runs out this low here, I try to take TP quickly, take 8% off the trade. But as you guys can see, we're on that one minute time frame. Things happen really fast. So I end up taking TP up here. When I press close, we're literally up here. After we run out this liquidity, I move my stop loss above this high. The reason I move it above this high here is because this is the high prior to running out this low. So really and truly, if they take out this high, I'm going to be expecting higher prices. And so let's hit play now. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Price gets down to that level again. If I was a bit more patient, yes, I could have caught that, but it's all good. Don't forget where my stop loss is. My stop loss is still not moved. Then the rest of it gets taken out here. So you can see here, price takes me out. But like I said, if I kept my TP, can't remember why I actually deleted it, but if I kept my TP, then I would have hit TP and this would have been done. But like I said, because that wasn't there, price came back up to hit my stop profit. Don't forget this. Just because I want price to come all the way down to this level, it doesn't mean that I can't take TP along the way, guys. It doesn't mean that I have to hold my whole position up to here. I can come every single day, be expecting price to be dropping until it gets to this level down here. Well, these institutional candles or order blocks or upload candles, they've really changed the game. I win more trades now because of this trading concept. So let's just remove these right now. We don't need these support and resistance lines. All right, so guys, clean chart now. As you can see, this is how it was looking like. We spent a little bit of time. Don't forget, look, always running out liquidity before the drop. Even here, look, relative equal highs, run out liquidity before the drop. Always expect price, if you're bearish, to run out liquidity first and then drop. Even there about your entry. So I want to show you guys my executions on this trade. You can see here's my up-close candle. When GU came up into this up-close candle for that mitigation, this is where I jumped in. You can see right here. And I took my very first TP here. I did try to take it beneath this low, but price moved way too quick, so I couldn't take it at the time. And then the rest of my trade got stopped out right here above this high.